Hey, Mr. Sams, I was uh, watching Iron Man Hawaii a couple of weekends ago. Yeah, it's like the Super Bowl for you triathlete. Oh, people, I watched huh? it all day. But an interesting thing happened. Actually, it wasn't this year, but a, a few years back. Is that the winner of the race, or a guy who was winning the race, he wasn't the winner, as you'll find out, um, he collapsed during the run. It was, there was two guys, very, very amazing runners, who uh, swam 2.4 miles, biked 112, and now we're in the middle of their marathon. And uh, the guy who'd won the previous year just basically collapsed. Turns out he got kidney stones. Yeah. In the middle of the Ironman um, triathlon, fun. and I think that has something to do with double replacement reactions. It does kidney actually. Stones. Yeah. How do kidney stones work? Well, uh, kidney stones are calcium oxalates. So what happens is you have calcium ions in your body, okay. lots of them. Yeah, okay. yeah. Your, bones your, and all, such. Yeah. yeah, and your cells need them yeah. for all sorts of fun things. And then the oxalate ion, um, it's kind of a byproduct in a lot of metabolic processes okay. so um, actually uh, if you take too much vitamin C you can actually build up oxalate ions in, okay. your, in your body and then the oxalate joins with the calcium and it forms this solid precipitate and then that's what you get is your kidney stones these calcium oxalate chunks in your kidneys so you get these little chunks and they're inside your kidneys and yeah. that that's and very then, very painful and then I they, understand. they got to get out so and they have to just yeah come out through the appropriate pipes and those pipes aren't very wide in their aperture so exactly it's very painful i understand so mm -hmm. he didn't finish the race sadly Yikes. and the other guy won the race so mm. interesting so chemistry applies to your life and yeah, that's cool isn't it it is all right cool okay the table guys that you're going to want to use that uh, a lot of is this thing called the solubility table yeah. so this should be taped in the back of your comp book or made available you can print this up i don't know whatever but this is a very important table that you're going to use as we uh, work through yeah so in the, in the single replacement reaction do you use the Activity, uh, activity series, series mm -hmm. of metals table and the double replacement to use the solubility. Now, table. in this table, we should kind of make a quick note here. Mm -hmm. What do each of these symbols represent, Mr. Uh, AQ is aqueous. That means it's soluble in water. So that means it doesn't, it's not chunky. It's right, it doesn't form a solid. Not, okay. S forms a solid, meaning it will make a precipitate, just yep. like we saw um, when we uh, demonstrated this in 4.1. Right. That yellow solid was a precipitate. NE means it does not exist. Okay. And so that's just three things. Yeah, and there are, there's an L in here somewhere too. I think oh, actually, a liquid. Actually, for water right here. For water. Actually, oh, there one, it is. In yeah. In one case, we can make water when you put hydrogen with hydroxide. Yep. All right. So th the way this works is if I have barium bromide right here in this table, it is an aqueous substance. Right. So when you're trying to figure out what the su the state of matter of a substance, if just it's look it up. if it's in water, you look it up on the table. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's not too bad. So, on double replacement reactions, this is the reaction, as you recall, A, B plus C, D. So, you have two couples, they go to the dance, and mm -hmm. they trade partners. Yep. Okay. And now, this is, the big question is, does the reaction even occur? Right. There are three tests that you have to determine whether or not the reaction will take place. First of all, both reactants must be AQ. So, if reactant A has to be AQ and AQ. If one of them is an S or an NE, it does not work. Right. Okay, so we're trying to decide. So you kind of have to meet all of these criteria. Number two, at least one product must be S or L. Okay. So this product, if this is S and this is AQ. You're good. It works. If they're both AQ, it doesn't work. Right. So if you have a product and it makes an AQ plus another AQ, there is no reaction. You would just write NR. Okay? Mm hmm And so, yeah. Does it make sense? You could also have, a, this also could be a liquid. You could also make two solids. Mm -hmm. That happens very rarely, but it, it could happen. Okay. Or so, liquid and salt. Yeah. Now, the key to doing this, to doing this right, this is this is tedious, scratch is you must pad. have the scratch pad. Without the scratch pad, you'll make mistakes, and mistakes will cause problems. No, no. Always make a scratch pad. Okay? Yeah, do it. All right. No, I'm not even sounding German. That was kind of like Oriental or something. That was weird. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm weird. So, hey, it works. <laughs> okay, here is our first example. So, everybody copy these down. Take your time on this, guys. These are hard. Okay, so let's do this. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is a scratch pad. I think it's a scratch pad, yeah. But if you do the scratch pad, they're not hard. Yeah, so I have to then write the ions. I've got Na, and I've got uh, Cl, and I've got Ag, and I've got NO3. And now we need to apply a charge to them all. Everybody needs a charge. So I yes. look up in the periodic table, find that sodium has a charge of plus one. That's pretty yep. easy. Mm -hmm. Chloride has a charge mm -hmm. of minus, minus one. one. Nitrate has a charge of minus, minus one. one. And silver, hmm. Plus one. It's plus one. It doesn't say that here. You have to, and it's on the periodic table, it might say it on your periodic table. You probably should put it on there if it isn't. But because nitrate has a charge of minus one, you can figure out the silver's charge. So when we rebuild products on the product side, what are you going to make? The sodium is going to get together with the, the... With the nitrate, the other anion. It's not this, Mr. Sams? No. Why not? Because we never put the two positives together. It's always a positive with a negative. You can't put these together because they both have the same charge. The goal is to have the charge add up to zero. zero. So the real answer would be Na 
N O three because of, and it's positive one, negative one. So this is an easy one. There's no right. weird charge things. Plus A G C L. A G C L. Now we need to figure out which of those, if any, forms a solid. So now let's go look at our table. So we okay. have sodium nitrate. So sodium is down here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to find nitrate. You guys can all get your table out. Nitrate. All right. Sodium yep. nitrate is right there. That Looks one's like it's an aqueous. AQ. I'm going to go back and I'm going to write AQ next to sodium nitrate. AQ. Now I've got to have at least one S or it doesn't work, right? Right. All right. So I go back to my table. So I'm going to find silver chloride. Here's silver, silver one, and then chloride is right here, right? So it's this yep. box, and that looks so like it's solid. An so does that uh, meet our? It rules? does. One of the products formed a solid, so the reaction occurs. And then we would go back and balance it. Now it turns out this one is just a one to one to one. We're not going to spend too much time balancing because nope. you learned how We've to do that before. That. So we'll probably balance pretty quickly in these podcasts or in this podcast. Okay, so that's it. All okay. right, let's do another Next. example. All right. So we have iron three chloride and ammonium nitrate. All right, scratch pad. Uh, scratch pad, little box, a charge box <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you've got Fe, and then you've got Cl, you've got NH4, and you've got NO3. All right, we'll go back and look at the charges. Oh, mm -hmm. iron charge, Does not, I don't know that charge. Not yet, we'll come back to it. All right, so let's do chloride. What's cool. charge of chloride? Minus one, always. Minus one. And we have three of them, so that's a total of minus three. So should we do this? No, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out what the charge of iron why is. Did, why did I not? Wait a second. When I wrote CL, I didn't write CL3. We're not concerned about that. We're just concerned about the individual ions because we're going to go back and balance the equations later. It's very important, guys. When you write the ions in the charge box, you only write one ion. Do not write multiple ions. Does that make sense? Do not put the three there. It's just CL. Mm -hmm. And on the periodic table, chloride has a charge of minus one. Right, but since we have three in the compound, that means the iron is a plus three. This actually gives us the clue as to the charge of the iron. Mm -hmm. If since there are three chlorides at each minus one, that adds up to minus three. That means the charge of the iron is plus three. And we need to know that. There you go. The nitrate is minus, minus one, one from the periodic table, and ammonium is a polyion with positive one. Okay. All right, so let's remake this. So, so iron was with chloride, so iron is going to go with nitrate. Yes, he's going to connect. This is our connection right here. So it'll be Fe. Now we got a positive 3 and negative 1, so mm -hmm. it'll be NO3. 3. 3. Plus? Plus 1 minus 1. That's easy. Just put NH4. them together. NH4. Cl. Now what do we need to do? Now we need to go look on the table and see table if nine. any of those form a solid. So here's iron 3. Mm -hmm. And what am I looking for? Nitrate or chloride? Or nitrate. Or nitrate. Nitrate. Nitrate, nitrate. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So aqueous. Aqueous. Okay. All right. AQ. All right. So iron three nitrate is aqueous. Okay. And then ammonium chloride. Ammonium would be at the top. We're pretty uh -huh. close. And then chloride is right aqueous. there. Aqueous. Aqueous. Okay. okay. So, so I go right back, back here nitrate. and I write aqueous. Wait. Oh. They're both aqueous. 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 No reaction. Hey. No reaction. We did all that work and we got no reaction. Yep. Yeah, too bad, guys. That's how it's done. Okay. Next. If you can figure out how to do this and you see that, oh, they're both aqueous before you do all this mathy stuff. Go for it. Figure it out. Yeah, it'll work. save you some work. Okay, let's do another one. Okay. All right, potassium phosphate. Scratch pad. Scratch pad. I'm going to write K. Do not write K3. It's K. I only write one of them. Now you say, okay, We didn't PO4. balance that last equation, by the way. We didn't want to balance it because it was no, no reaction. reaction. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Now, Mr. Bur didn't I just violate my rule? I wrote PO4. I lost the 3, but I didn't lose the 4 when I wrote that Well, down. PO4 is part of phosphate. It's a polyion. So this is you it's know, a, circle. a circle, if you will, right? And then I've got barium, and I've got chloride. Notice I lost the 2. Because that's not a polyion. That's not a polyion. Let's look at the periodic table now. Potassium is charge of? Plus 1. Plus 1. Phosphate is minus, minus three. 3. Barium is plus, plus two, 2 and minus 1. We don't have any figure on this one, so that wasn't too bad. Now we're going to trade partners. So um, potassium is going to get together with the chloride. Oh, that's easy. It's 1 and 1. Yep, KCl. So it's KCl. Plus? Barium phosphate. Ooh, plus yeah. 2 minus 3. Got to do the 6 thing. the 6 thing. So this would be Ba3, PO4, 2. All right, now we'd go and we have to figure and out the uh, states yep, of matter. Potassium, potassium. Here's potassium. Chloride is here. So it looks like it's an AQ. Aqueous. 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 And the barium phosphate. Here's barium. And phosphate is over here somewhere. Yep. 
Hey, it's a solid. It's a solid. So this one's a worker one. This one works. It happens. Whoops, wrong way. I went the wrong direction. Uh, barium phosphate is a solid. Solid. Okay. So that reacts. So this reacts. Let's balance it. So we just need to balance it. We got a complex let's guy here. Start with here. that big ugly one. So there. let's call him a one. So let's do the barium. So I'll need a three, three. here. And I got two, two phosphates, phosphates, so I'll put a two here. That gives me six, six potassium. potassium, so that's six. That gives me six chlorides, and hey, look at that. I six have chlorides. chlorides. That's the answer. Okay, that wasn't too bad. How about if we start with words? Okay. A little difficult here. Let's do it. All right, we still start with a scratch pad. So I think these are actually easier sometimes. All right, so we've got silver. Silver symbol is AG. Charge of silver is plus, plus one. one. All right, nitrate is NO3. NO3, negative one. one. And sodium is Na, Na plus, plus one. one. And carbonate is CO3 minus, one. minus two. That's what I meant. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad you knew that. I now, know. in this case, we've got to build the left and the right side. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to put the silver with the nitrate. Okay. So that's going to put the, the top together. Well, and the charge, so they add up. AG NO3. That'll be AG NO3. We'll go back and look at this, the states at the end, I think. Okay. And then we'll do sodium carbonate. That'd Na be Na2CO3. Because, of course, the one charge and the minus two charge. And now we're going to put them diagonally together, right? Okay. So silver carbonate would be Ag2CO3. Two. Two All right. Plus, over here, Na. Na3. Na3. Nano. So we've got silver nitrate. Okay, so now let's look at our, our box here. Silver nitrate. Silver was down here. Mm. And here's the nitrate column. Okay, so silver nitrate, boom. Aqueous. aqueous. So silver nitrate is aqueous. Sodium carbonate. So sodium is right underneath him. And carbonate is, there we go, aqueous. Okay, now that's important. They're both aqueous, right? If they're both aqueous, I'm in the wrong direction there. If they're both aqueous, they've got to both be aqueous to have a reaction right. take place. It makes silver carbonate. So silver carbonate. Oh, there it is. Hey, S. it's a solid. Hey, there's our S. So we have two aqueous starting pro uh, starting materials and a solid product. That means the reaction occurred. And then we don't necessarily need to look this up. I will. Um, we don't. It's, it's, aqueous. it's aqueous. Trust me. Okay. Um, that reaction like it's going to happen. Yeah. We AQ AQ makes now S we, AQ. Yeah. No, we just need to balance. Now, see the balance. Our complex one. I'm kind of yeah, thinking of that, that guy, one. Yeah. So let's make him a one. Okay. So there's two silvers. So that All means right. it two here. That gives me two nitrates. Okay, I only got one over here, so I'm going to put a two there. That gives me two sodiums. Hey, look at that. I've got two sodiums. Ta -da. It works. Okay, that's the answer. Okay. Right. I think we got a couple more to do. I think so. All right, barium, phosphate, and ammonium chloride. All right, start with the box. Start with the box. So barium is BA. BA plus two. Plus two. Phosphate is PO4. Minus three. Minus three. And then we've got ammonium, NH4. NH4. Plus one. Plus one. Chloride CO minus, minus one. one. All right. So we're gonna put barium together with phosphate. Oh, we get that two and three things. So make up six. six. So, so B three, three P O four two two plus. Oh, this is easy. One and one. Yep. N H four C L makes. Now we're gonna cross them, right? Yep. Barium's in with chloride, so mm -hmm. let's say B A C L two because okay. of course the one and the negative two, and they got a one and a three charge. Yeah. So this is a little tricky. N H four Three. Three. You need three NH4s. PO4. PO4. Now we should like look at the charges. Yep. Or the uh, states, pardon me. Yep. So, so first one, barium, barium phosphate. phosphate. Here's barium. And phosphate's over here somewhere. Yep. That would be this box. So oh, solid. Ooh. Okay, so it's a solid. Yeah, that's, so we go back um, and we write a solid. What's wrong, um, Mr. Sams? Well, both of our reactants have to be aqueous. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. If they both have to be aqueous. No reaction. We're done. We're because done. Either, Stop if, there. Yeah. Go no further. No uh, reaction. We could have probably figured that out earlier, and then we could have not written all this out. We could have. All right, if you can figure out how to do that and you're smart enough, then go ahead. Otherwise, go through the process. Go through the process. That's right. I think we got one more. Let's do one more, Mr. Sam. All right, last one. Hey, last one. Okay, hey, where do we start with? Uh, scratch pad. Scratch pad, make a books. Mm -hmm. Iron. So that'd be F-E. Yeah. Don't, by the way, I've had a lot of students this year who said iron is P-B. No, no, that's lit. Yes. They get them mixed up. Iron and lead. Anyways, iron is Fe. Yeah. All right, Fe charge uh, three. I, I, I don't. I'm looking at the periodic table since I don't see. Roman it. numeral. Oh, oh, there's a number here. Oh, you're right. There's a three. That means it's the charge. 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 Oh, good. Plus three. I'm good. All right. I was a little confused. Chloride is Cl with a charge of negative one. Charge. Okay. Strontium has a charge of. Now, look in the periodic table, you'll discover strontium element number 38 is in column number 2 of the periodic table. So his charge is plus 2. Charge! There you go. And hydroxide, 
is H. No. No, no, what is it? OH. Oh. Everybody, oh. yeah, I've had a lot of students since you're yeah. putting H for hydroxide. Yeah. Hydroxide is OH charge negative one. Guys. H is hydride. Watch that, okay. Not hydroxide. Yes, okay, so let's figure this out. So I'm gonna put together, I've ironed three chloride. So that'll be FeCl3, because when I put these together, I have to get the charge of uh, zero added mm -hmm. up, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus strontium hydroxide, SrOH2. No. What, what's wrong with you? You need Sam's? parentheses yeah. around hydroxide. Guys, a common mistake I see too many times All is that the time. with hydroxide, lots of times, is OH, you need two OHs, mm -hmm. not one O and yep. two Hs. Yep. And that's going to, now we're going to trade partners. The iron is now going to get to with, get together with the, with the hydroxide. So that would be FE, <laughs> did you make sense? FeOH3. Nice. Notice the parentheses, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Plus SrCl2. I have to play the charge game, 2 and 1, 3 and 1, etc. Now we need to look at our, our um, chart, right, to see if this reaction mm -hmm. occurs. Yep. So we have iron, iron three. three is iron three. Chloride. And then chloride is so over here. Aqueous. Aqueous okay. it is. So iron three chloride is an AQ. Yeah. Strontium hydroxide. Strontium sir. is down here. To sir with love is an important movie, isn't it? Hydroxide. Aqueous. You see that? Is that right? Yep. yep. I got the right box. So all right, we got two hey, aqueous. Two aqueous, so we That's have the potential for a reaction. Potential. Let's see if we can make a reaction. Here's my iron, and we want to put in with hydroxide, uh -huh. which would be right there. Oh, solid. solid. That's the dead giveaway. You make this. By the way, when this is a solid, what do we call that, Mr. Sam? A uh, precipitate. This right here is your precipitate PPT. Put. Put. And then strontium chloride. Wrong way. I knew that. All right, strontium. S strontium chloride. chloride. Aqueous. Aqueous. So that's uh, it works. This reaction uh. is a worker reaction. It's going uh, to happen. Aqueous. We have one step to go. What did it be? Balance. Balance. I see. Uh, I'm thinking this is our most complex. I'm thinking you're right. So I'm going to put a one right there. Okay. So I see three OHs. Mm -hmm. And I have two OHs. Oh, we got to do the six thing. Oh, three and two. So six. Okay, I can't yeah. put a one there. So no. this is wrong. Yeah. So I'm going to put a two here mm -hmm. and a three here. That gives us six hydroxides on, on both, both sides. sides. Good. Now that gives me three SRs. So mm -hmm. to fix that, I'm going to put three in front here. Okay. And um, now it gives me six chlorides. Three times two is six. Mm -hmm. And over here I've got two. I've got three, so I'll put a two, two here. for six. That gives me two irons here. And hey, I look, come over you here. have oh, two. And I have two. Bingo, bingo, done. Yay. So, guys, I know this is long and it's kind of tedious. And when you do these worksheets, you'll probably say, this is tedious. But eventually you're going to be able to do it really fast. Yes. In fact, you might even be able to look at it and just say, oh, I know which one it is. Yeah. So, at least you're not an AP. An AP would make you memorize these solubility rules. No. <laughs> Memorize this? Yes. Yes. We have Actually, a, we have an easy way to do it. Yeah, though. Mr. Neckel knows so. Yeah, but we'll talk about that in AP chemistry when you take it. Take okay. it next year. Take it next year and you'll learn so much more chemistry. You, you, you'll just be the smartest person it's on amazing. the planet. Okay, cool.